Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Mrs. Costell, an art teacher from Illinois. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hey art fans, I'm Mrs. Costell. I teach at Holy Trinity School in Westmont and Elm School in Burr Ridge, Illinois. I also run the blog No Corner Slums. Today we are going to learn about warm colors and we are going to draw some really cool totally 80s flamingo pictures. We're going to use some really easy supplies and I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh let's go! Okay, I know you have all the supplies for this flamingo project in a random drawer in your kitchen, because I did. These are the most basic things found in everyone's house. But when you get done, all your admirers will have no idea how you, just digging around in the kitchen, turned it into beautiful art. You will need a pencil and eraser, a circle tracer, lid, roll of tape, jar, can, bottle, anything that's a circle really. A small piece of paper about the size of your circle tracer. A black sharpie or black crayon. A regular red, orange, yellow, and pink marker or crayon. Tape. Masking tape is probably best, but blue painter's tape, washi tape, and even regular scotch tape will work. It won't be part of the project. We're just going to be using it for masking things off. See, I knew you could scare up that stuff. Find a nice spot to work, here we go. Let's talk about colors real quick. On one half of the color wheel, we have warm colors. They make us think of happy things like sunflowers and actual warm things like sunshine and fire. If I divide the color wheel in half diagonally, the other side is cool colors. Cool colors are also used in nature, but can also make us think of sad and depressing things and also cold things. Uh, flamingos are warm, even though they are so cool. Anyway, write your name on the back of your white paper. With pencil, trace your circle onto the white paper. It is okay if the circle is a little bigger than the paper or even a little smaller. The circle is your distant sun setting. Right smack dab in the middle of the paper, we are going to draw an oval that will be the flamingo's body. To the left, hovering over the body, draw a nice small circle for your flamingo's head. Starting at the back of the neck, make a nice curved line down to the front of the body. Double it up to make it a little fatter, but not too fat. Flamingos have skinny necks. Here's a really beautiful photo of a flamingo on a beach you can use as inspo. Anyway, add a nice big beak to the front of the head and a little line for the wing. A little dot eye. A vertical line all the way down to the bottom of the paper for one leg with kind of a notched triangle for its webbed foot. Then its other leg bends backwards. Look again at the photo. Draw a diagonal line going back towards its tail, then forward horizontally. Then another little notched triangle for that webbed foot too. Here's some art history for you. Here's a painting done by John James Audubon. Audubon was an artist and explorer in the early 1800s who painted and cataloged over 400 types of American birds. Yippee, our flamingo is drawn. Now trace all the pencil lines in black Sharpie or black crayon. Do not use a regular black marker because it will smear when we use our other colors. Go to crazy town with your eraser. Get rid of all of those extra pencil lines. We are going to get into some color mixing in a bit. So normally I wouldn't be forcing you to use certain colors, but for now, I am. For this part, it actually makes sense. Color your entire sun yellow. This is why I said a small piece of paper. Coloring with markers takes forever. We are going to make some setting sun lines with our tape. The inspiration for this comes from souvenir t-shirts and mugs that were pretty popular in the 1980s that looked like this. Squiggles, rectangles with shadows, pinstripe checks, and lasers were also pretty cool back then, but we'll save those for another project. Start slightly above center and put horizontal lines of tape over your sun and flamingo. Press down kind of hard, but not like crazy hard. Leave a wee bit of space and put another perfectly straight piece of tape. Repeat this as necessary down your entire slot. 
I like to make the lines change size, so I try to carefully cut my tape in half horizontally as I get further down the sun. Now, using your pink marker, color over all of your yellow. What do you think is going to happen? Even if you accidentally color on the flamingo a little bit, it's okay because the bird will be pink too. And if you color on the tape, it doesn't matter because it's going to get peeled off. Your pink and yellow are probably mixing to make a nice orangey color, right? Isn't that cool? It kind of actually looks like a fiery setting sun. This part gets a little tricky. Once the pink is colored, very carefully peel off the tape. If it sticks to the paper a little, it's okay. Just try and peel in a different direction or peel slower. If it peels off part of your yellow, just recolor that part. Looky there, a striped sunset. Neat. Now you can color the rest of your picture. I'm coloring my flamingo pink. Did you know that flamingos are actually born with gray feathers? Their feathers turn pink because of their diet of brine, shrimp, and algae. Yum. I'm mixing my red and orange to color the rest of my sky. And ta-da! Doesn't that look cool? I mean, warm. So wasn't that awesome? I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see your pictures. Bye.